Hey y'all, Patrick here with Tomon's Guitars and Basses. And today we're gonna be talking about the vast and extensive world of bass pickups, as well as comparing quite a few different kinds too. So bass pickups, there's a lot that goes into these and at the same time, it can be extremely simple too. But over the decades, there have been so many different kinds, different manufacturers, different types of pickups that have been created as well as customized and put into the world where there just are so many different options where it's pretty much safe to say you can get the exact sound that you're looking for from any sort of pickup to say the least. Traditionally, the pickup is that thing on your base that is essentially a magnet that is surrounded by a copper wire which is coiled and then that picks up the vibration physically coming from your string which then translates into sound once it goes through your entire rig. It's pretty cool to say the least but there are a lot of different kinds of pickups as well as different ways you can use them. And of course, there's a lot of different little variations that can completely change the sound that the pickup is going to then produce. And consider this more as a starting guide to the idea of what pickups are and what different sounds you can get with them. Because we're not gonna go through every single kind of pickup that there is for basses out there. That would take a lot of time and a lot of pickups to the say the least. And the four different types of bass pickups that we're gonna be talking about today are single coils, split coils, humbuckers, and soap bars. So starting with single coil pickups, these and split coil pickups are probably the most popular as well as the oldest that have been around with electric bases. Now single coils essentially just have one coil wrapped around the pickups magnet, and this makes for a very bright, crisp, and clear sound. Next up, we have split coil pickups, which are double coil pickups that are split apart, made mostly famous by the Fender Precision Bass that I think a lot of people, when you say bass or bass pickups, they'll probably picture a precision base in their mind. Now for split coil pickups, instead of it being one double coil underneath all four strings, the pickups are split into two, essentially given the name split coil pickups. Next up, we have humbuckers, which are essentially double coil pickups. Now what we have here is pretty much, you know how we have the single coil pickups. Now put those together into one housing and now you have a humbucker. And then last but not least, we have soap bar pickups, which essentially are pickup housings where there are various configurations and sizes available, no matter what kind of base you have. And using something like this Bartolini soap bar pickup guide right here, you can see there are a lot of different ways, sizes, and configurations available for soap bars. Whether you want it to just simply be a single coil, humbucker, split coil inside of one housing, all that is pretty much possible with soap bars, which makes them so versatile and just really cool. And basically what I wanted to do today was compare these different styles of pickups, as well as compare the pickups to each other that are within those same categories. So we have different split coil pickups, different single coil pickups, as well as different humbuckers and soap bars too, to compare against each other. We have our four categories of split coil, single coil, humbucker, and soap bar pickups, as well as 10 bases to put all these into and compare them against each other. For our 10 bases today, we have the Squire 40th Anniversary Gold Edition Precision Base that has Fender designed Alnico Split Single Coils, then the Fender JMJ Road Worn Mustang Base that has custom Seymour Duncan Split Single Coils, then we have the Fender Made in Mexico Jazz Base with Seymour Duncan Quarter Pound Single Coils, then the Rickenbacker 4003 with Rickenbacker Single Coils, the Squire Classic Vibe Base 6 with Fender Alnico Single Coils, the Sterling by Music Man Ray 34 PB that has Sterling by Music Man's own humbucker inside of it, the Harley Benton HB 60 WB that has vintage humbuckers, then the Dingwall NG2 that has Dingwall's own FD3 in pickups, the Ibanez EHB 1005 MS with Bartolini BH2 pickups, and then finally the Spectre Dimension 5 that has Fishman Fluence pickups in it. Now, again, these are a lot of different bases, a lot of different pickups. For our main tone that we're gonna be going into, it's just going into a bass katana, simply straight into my interface, and that is it.
So yeah, what do you guys think about that? What kind of pickups do you generally go towards and what kind do you think that your ears like the most as well? I think it's really cool just to compare these, but of course I left out a ton of different kinds of pickups as well. And of course with each kind, there are so many different variations and configurations that you can have. One of the big things is that we don't really know what every single bass sounds like. So it's really interesting to see maybe this bass sounds like this because of where the pickup is, but this bass sounds very similar to it even though it has a completely different kind of pickup in a completely different spot. It's really interesting and super fun to compare and contrast all these different types of pickups. But of course, let us know down in the comments what your favorite types of bass pickups are and what we should really be looking at in future videos. Thank you all so much for watching as always. And of course, make sure you subscribe to Tomon's Guitars and Bassist YouTube channel, as well as click that bell for notifications. Thank you all so much again for hanging out with me, and we'll see you all next time.